XP, police, antivirus, uh, rogue, anti spyware software program. Um, to manually remove this, you want to go to start, and go to start, control panel, then you want to go to add or remove programs. And once it comes up, you want to scroll down to you see XP Police Antivirus. You want to click on it, and then you want to click the button Remove, and that will remove uninstall it from your computer. Uh, you would need to download Malwarebytes Anti Malware and scan with that program. All the links are going to be in the description. I have alternative links in case none of those links work to the programs I want to be showing you. You want to once you finish installing it, you want to open up Malwarebytes Anti Malware. You want to perform a quick scan. You want to come down here and click Scan. Scans will take a while. Uh, once the scan has finished, it will show all the files that were associated with. XP police antivirus um and you want to remove any of those um if you use this on another day you want to always go to the update tab and you want to click check for updates to get the latest definition files and if malwarebytes will not run um, some of these rogue programs are coded in them, so it would disable you from being able to open up Malwarebytes. You just want to go to the program files, where it's uh, the file is, where the folder is with the program and all its files, to Malwarebytes. You want to change MBAM to something else, and you will be able to open up Malwarebytes Anti-Malware. The next program I'm going to show you is... Super anti spyware. This is a good program. You want to click check for updates. You want to click scan your computer. You want to perform a quick scan. Come down here and click next. And remove anything found. Next program I'm going to be showing you is ATF Cleaner. It's a program itself. Uh, you just want to click Select All, hit Empty Selected. Uh, if you run, use Firefox as your browser, you want to click Select All, and then hit Empty Selected. It'll ask you, do you want to delete your saved Firefox saved passwords? You click, click Yes or No, whichever one you prefer to do. Then you click Empty Selected. And this will run on Windows 2000, XP, and Vista, but you gotta run as administrator on Vista. The next program I'm gonna show you is CCleaner from CCleaner.com. It's a good program to have a clean, remove any junk you have on your computer. You wanna click registry over here on the left, and you wanna come down here and click scan for issues. And it will scan, show you problems with the registry part, with the whatever registry files are missing or unused or whatever the case is going to be. Um, and then you want to click Fix Selected Issues. It will come up and ask you, do you want to back up your registry? And you click No. Um, and then click fix all selected issues and do this until nothing shows up if you have any questions please message me or leave it in a comment leave me some comments rate my video subscribe i got more videos coming on with the latest rollick programs and how to remove them also i'm going to be having a video on what viewpoint media player is and how to uh, what it does and how to remove it from your computer. 
Thanks for watching.